Okay guys, so this is my fall 2023 coffee bar. I'm going to just kind of go over my mugs, which if you guys have been around, you know my love for mugs, seasonal mugs, and um, especially my fall mugs. I They hold a special place in my heart. Um, and I do have a few new ones. And then um, most of them are from, you know, previous years. And I do have a mug collection video that I shared with you last year. I will link that below. Um, so you guys can go check that out after you watch this one if you want to see it, if you are a mug lover like I am. But I'm going to start here on the second shelf and then we'll move up to the top. But okay, so this is actually the first year that I um, decorate my coffee bar displaying my mugs. I'm not sure why I never did it. Um, sorry if you hear barking guys, my neighbor's dog is barking, uh, but I never did it before. And I love lo looking at other people's, uh, mug displays. And I said, you know what, this year I am going to do it. So, and I love it. I love the way this came out. Um, I did display fall and Halloween. Um, I mix them together, but for the most part, if you can tell, it's mostly, you know, fall related, but I do have a couple of ghost mugs and a pumpkin one. So yeah, I really love the way this came out. So let me start with the garland. Uh, this is from Joann's. This is new this year. Um, I ended up cutting it because it's really long. So I put a piece down here. It's really, really pretty. It has these little like faux twigs. And then I incorporated lights. I'll show you a night clip later, but I um, I really like it. I love the color. It's not a bright yellow. I don't know how it's translating on camera, but it's not a bright yellow. It's very muted. And then the other pieces that I cut, I just actually, you know, placed them individually, like little scatter them around. I I did have two of these and I was thinking about putting the other piece on top. But when I did that, it just looked too much. It looked like the mugs were going to be swallowed up by the, the uh, garland. So I did just the bottom and then I just scattered the top. I was and am still thinking maybe of placing a couple of little tiny bats up here. Today is October 1st. So uh, I wanted to get this video out to you guys ASAP. So, but I am thinking I might incorporate a little bit of bats, just, just a few scattered around. I feel like there needs to be something here. And I already have a sign up here. So I thought another sign would be too much, but okay. So that's that, <laughs> that's the garland. Um, one of my favorite, favorite, favorite mugs, fall mugs is this one. Fall is my favorite color. I love this mug. I believe I got that from Marshalls, um, like most of my mugs, but it is my favorite. And then um, on this side, inside it has the little leaves. You know, it's little details like that. I love the colors on this mug. Absolutely one of my favorites. And I have this little white pumpkin one on top. That was a Target dollar spot find last year. And then also you're going to see that I incorporated, you know, some uh, risers. I've incorporated, you know, different textures in here. So this little glass pumpkin, I'm not going to move it because I have little lights in there. That was from the Target dollar spot. So that was from the Target dollar spot find this year. I shared that with you. I'll also link that video below. Um, my last video was a little haul. And I have another, I have a couple more on the top shelf that I'll show you. <clears throat> this mug is the same as this one. And I also shared this with you last year. These were Target dollar spot finds last year. Absolutely love these little pumpkin mugs. And then of course, guys, my wooden spoons, they are in this coffee bar all year round. I incorporate them with every decor. Those were Hobby Lobby finds a couple of years ago. This mug is new this year, and this was purchased by my daughter. So this is technically her mug, um, Target Dollar Spot. Um, no, I'm sorry, not Dollar Spot. This is um, just Target. 
regular Target. <laughs> um, really cute. Was did she buy that this year? Now I want to say it was last year. I stand corrected. I think it's last year. This was last year, and it's adorable. All the different pumpkins on it. Love it. Um, this little uh, sugar container was a Target dollar spot find last year as well. Um, and so you see, I'm incorporating not just mugs, but, um, you know, putting different little items just to kind of give it depth and different, you know, interest in the, not just to have all mugs. So here you'll see, I have a little book, stack some plates. Um, you'll see my amber jar just to kind of give it some depth, texture, you know, visual interest. Um, this mug here, an oldie, but a goodie. <laughs> I love this mug. My, my daughter really likes this mug too. And it's very large. And like I said, most of these mugs are from Marshall's or home good, uh, not home goods. Yes. Marshall's or home goods. Yes. <laughs> or TJ Maxx. Um, and then obviously target as well. <clears throat> this is a new mug this year and this is from joann's now i will say joann's has good mugs they do have good seasonal mugs i saw this one and i really liked it i love the colors and um yeah i just mainly the colors on this was really nice is what i liked um stacked it here with these plates these plates i think i got these at i don't know christmas tree shops a few years ago um and then this is a thrifted little book. Now this little mug here, he's new this year. I also shared him in my previous haul video. How adorable, oh my goodness. These little ghost mugs have my heart. <laughs> Just so, so cute. And then, uh, where did I get this? Um, Marshalls, I'm pretty sure, or Home Goods, one of the two. And then my amber jar, that's a, uh, Actually, this one was from Hobby Lobby. I had gotten that on clearance. So that's how the first shelf is. And I really like it. Um, I'm so happy I did this this year because it really does bring me joy to see all my mugs out on display. So now let's move on to the top shelf. Okay, so the top shelf, I have to get on a step stool. <laughs> this is the top shelf. Um, it has a little bit more Halloween going up here. So I'll start over here on this end. This sign, one of my all-time favorite finds from Home Goods. I've had this already maybe three years. It has everything that I love about fall on it. The pumpkins, the hay rides, the apples, the warm drinks, fall sports, yes. Pumpkin pie, everything that I love. I think it says cozy socks in there too. I love that sign. I love the colors. I love it. I know some people are over the wordy signs, not me. Um, I love them. So, <laughs> especially for the season. Um, okay, and then so this amber jar uh, last year from Target Dollar Spot. I say Dollar Spot. You guys know I mean the Bullseye Playground. I know not everything's a dollar, but that was a find last year there. And so this ghost mug uh, was a new find this year also from Marshalls, I believe. Oops, we have a leaf down. <laughs> that was a um, Marshalls find as well um, this year, I believe. This one I got last year, and this one is actually came in a set with this pumpkin mug. So these two came in a set last year from Home Goods. Love them. Um, this little cauldron mug, Target. Uh, maybe two years ago, maybe two Halloweens ago I got them. Yeah, I think so. Um, and then another little pumpkin mug from Target last year. And then here are the little glass pumpkins again from this year, the Target dollar spot. They were only a dollar and I think they're really, 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 really cute. See that one, I love that color. Um, I have little lights inside of them, so I don't want to move them. This little riser from Michael's a few years ago, very popular. I see a lot of people still have that riser. And then this little trick-or-treat mug, also a purchase from my daughter, also from Target last year. 
How cute is that mug? And yes, we still use these mugs, even though they're on display. <laughs> My daughter asked me, that means we can't use these when we want to have coffee? Yes, we still use them. We just put them back after we wash them. <laughs> and then that's a thrifted jar. Um, when did I get that? Maybe two years ago? And then, yeah, so as you can see, the little pumpkin. I love that pumpkin jack-o'-lantern mug as well. And then I just have it on risers. Again, to give it texture, visual interest. And yeah, that's my top shelf. down to my little rod here and basket um i didn't want to put matchy matchy mugs here like i usually do i was thinking of maybe putting the ghost mugs here or the pumpkin ones but i said you know what i'm not gonna do that this year we're not gonna match things up we're just going to maybe keep them all kind of in the same color scheme here but i wasn't going to make it look too uniformed I should say so these are also our favorites <laughs> they're all our favorites it's like your children you can't pick a favorite but this one Halloween Queen my daughter loves that she is a Halloween Queen she loves Halloween she loves getting dressed up she's so creative sometimes with her costumes she just loves it sweater weather if you know you know this was instagram famous <laughs> mug a few years ago i actually never got it um during that time that it was super famous <laughs> a mug was famous on instagram but i ended up getting it on clearance probably the, the following year and i do love this mug it's so cute and then hey boo also from target so target target i think that's marshall's or home goods um this one is adorable as well love that and then on our little basket here of course our disposable mugs these are from joann's and these are eight ounces which i like because sometimes you don't want a really large uh cup and these are the sleeves how cute cozy season love those and then i also shared these uh, with you in my haul and these say i love fall a latte <laughs> it's the little things for us. We love this. We love making our coffee, guys, and just enjoying our mugs, whether on the go or at home. And then on the buffet table, I have my cauldron. I believe I bought this from Target last year, and I love it because it's not plastic, and it's a very good quality cauldron. I love it. Last year, I did the little plastic ornaments, made it look like bubbles, kept it really simple this year and <laughs> we just put some k-cups in here but i wanted to display it because it is one of my favorite halloween finds and then super simple over here you know we have to have our water our syrups you guys uh, remember these these were uh bullseye playground finds uh maybe was it last year or two years ago you guys have to let me know i can't remember um, and then we have our sugar. This, if you guys, let me know if you guys got these. These were like maybe three years ago at the Target um, Bullseye Playground. It came in a set of three. There's like two other little signs that came with it. I love those. Um, my little gold spoons that I love from Kirkland's. Love these, we use them every day. And I just have them here in the little picture. And that's pretty much it. You know, we have our coffee. I always display a mug here, and this is another favorite and an oldie, but a goodie. <laughs> and that is it, guys. That is my coffee bar for 2023. I'll give you one last look. Let me know if you liked it. Let me know which one is your favorite mug. I would love to know which one is your favorite.
All right, guys, so before I let you go, I wanted to share three other mugs that are new this year that did not make it to the coffee bar. I just don't have enough space, but they would have if I could. <laughs> but I enjoy these um, just as much, and so I just wanted to share them with you because they deserve a spotlight. Um, so the other um, mug my daughter contributed to our collection is this one from Target pumpkin spice season and inside it has the little pumpkin how adorable is that um it has the writing on both sides which we love that i love the color it's um muted again i don't know how it's translating on camera but in person it is muted and it's a matte mug so that's another new one this year and then another joanne mug i told you they have cute mugs um, was this one and I don't know if you can read it from there um, it says a cup of cozy and it does say it on both sides I'm not sure um, with the glare and everything if you can see um, it might not be fall color for some but I love what it says we love coziness here and I think you can use this all year round which was another reason why I bought it because um, Christmas winter winter months cup of cozy and the color we love as well and like i said it's on both sides so that was from joanne's this year as well and then my most recent one was from walmart.com guys another ghost mug <laughs> now this one has like an iridescent finish um it's pretty large it's larger than the ones that i have here um i believe it's a 14 ounce okay um, let me get closer. <laughs> I'm not sure if you can tell, but it is, has a little bit of a sheen, like an iridescent kind of color. Not too much, not overly, but look at the little face, <laughs> the little sleeves. And the best part is I felt like this was an extremely inexpensive mug. It was under $4. It was like $3.98 on walmart.com. So I snatched that up because I'm like, I don't know if this is an era or what, but I loved it. So anyway, those are the other three mugs that we had in our cabinet. But thank you so much. Oh, and do you like my sweater? Again, I shared this with you in my haul, my last video. So I I bought it mainly for Christmas, tis the season. That's what we usually say, right, for Christmas. But it's a brown sweater. And for me, it's tis the season for pumpkin spice and everything fall related. So I thought it was appropriate to wear it today. <laughs> and it's very, very comfy. Um, I talked about it in depth in that video, so go check it out. And I linked um, the small business that I bought it from there. Uh, so yeah, go check that out. But I hope you enjoyed my coffee bar. Um, and then I'll also link below my coffee bar playlist because I have a lot of videos on how I decorate my coffee bar for all seasons. And if this is your first time stopping by, thank you for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you consider subscribing to my channel. I'll link my socials below as well. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, share. All that stuff helps my channel in the YouTube algorithm. Um, unfortunately, that's how it goes, right? So if you can share this and um, like it, I would appreciate it. And until next time, Bye.